All right, today I'm just going to talk about one of the um, dive sites I dive at. Um, it's a shore dive and it's in Scotland and it's called the Sill Reef and it's on Loch Fine. Um, it's about roughly 63 miles from um, Glasgow. Um, it's quite a straightforward drive. I will give you uh, further directions in the description below. Um, and it's over the Rest and Be Thankful, which normally should be open and recently there has been issues with um rock form but has been recently under repair so i'm just going to do some videos of different dive sites um around the, the west coast of scotland um, and just giving an insight um of the site because you see a lot of videos of people diving but no one actually tells for example how they get there can you park what easy access um and sort of actually see if, the images of where you can actually dive so this is just a, a brief video of as i said a seal reef um, in loch fine in scotland which is quite common for local scottish divers so if you ever up in this area i would recommend this dive site uh, maximum depth i think you can go to well until it gets really bad is about 40 meters great for trainees and upwards that's where we quite off, uh, often train um, so next is just going to be uh, like a pinpoint on Google map. Just give you a rough idea where it is. As you can see, it's, um, you can see Glasgow there to the right and Falkirk and Stirling. And there's some lovely scenery um, driving through to get to this uh, dive site. And it's absolutely stunning on a good day. And this one is a more detailed map, as I said, it will give you a, a better description um, on the, at the end of the video in the description. I said, you can't really see it clearly, but in the next pictures is sort of, um, you should see it, like th there's always like a, a bin there. You go past the caravan park. Um, if you come the direction of Glasgow, you go past the caravan park, it should be on your left. And about another probably half a mile, you come across uh, these bins like a council bins are uh, permanently there and you can google this site as well so you should be able to see it and put it in your sat nav so there's the bins um, there is local access you blink your message you just walk down this path you can park your cars on the right hand side um, I wouldn't recommend parking further ahead uh, so park on the right hand side probably max probably take about maybe eight cars and as you go to the right, and you're going towards the dive site as well. Again, you can park your cars up here. You can max probably push to four or five cars. So it's sort of tarmacked a bit, or not really tarmac, just rebel. And here is the, um, the route down to the dive site. You've got, oh, we'll come back to that later. Just showing the, the ground here. So here someone's made, um, uh, sort of steps and a rope to hold you down. Sorry, not hold you down. To give you a hand going down with your kit. It's well maintained within reason compared to other sites. Uh, obviously the shore's out here. That's, the tide's out. Um, if the tide's um, on closely and you can just dive, put your kit on. We really go to a cars park and walk down. But I'm good there when the tide's out. There's a lot of, as you can see, not much boulders. Here is just a quick, um, sort of like, map where you can see what should be seen under um, water. I've borrowed this from um, Finn Strokes, so I'll make sure that's mentioned in the comments. Again, back to the dive site there, it's, it, you can see it's just like loose stones. It's nice and flat. Then you just, again, you gotta watch out for boulder. The boulders and there's a the rope to help you out if you're taking all your kit back up to your car. If you come during the week, it's not really busy. The weekends, obviously, it is, can be busy and you have to hopefully get there before anyone else. So it's, not, it's one of the best sites, or one of the best sites, I, I think, as you can see. And this is me walking back up. As you come out of your car's park, it's quite a tight turn. You might have to do a three-point turn to get round. 
Yeah, and this bit is sort of tarmac because there's actually, we need to get access for a local resident. So try not to totally block up the road. Again, you can park your cars to the left, as you can see there. And it will take you back up to the, um, to the A road, left going towards Glasgow. So, so this is just a quick brief insight for anyone who's interested in the, um, to go diving uh, at the sea reef. Yeah, it's quite a nice, easy location to dive. It's so great for trainees. Um, yeah, that's really it, really. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to hope to make some more uh, next week. Uh, if you like what you've seen, uh, thumbs up. And again, to see more, subscribe for more future um, updates of, of various um, dive sites around Eastern Scotland.